On September 1st, I committed myself to a lean bulk until the end of the year. Each one of these videos contains three typical days of training, eating, and good old American goofiness, while also focusing on some specific topic in each video along the way. With that being said, let's see what I'm up to today. Weighed in this morning at about uh, 182.8, which is actually under the weight that we started at, which means I haven't gained any weight, which in the case of a lean bulk, um, we are trying to get a, tr gain a little bit of weight, ideally. So, before we can learn what that handsome fella had to say, we have to go back one day to day one. Did you miss me? I think I'll probably weigh tomorrow morning, but I haven't weighed since like the first day. So I guess we'll be weighing tomorrow. So you have that to look forward to. Check my progress, see if I've actually been gaining some weight. I'm not expecting a whole lot since I've been at a pretty small surplus, but um, you know, depending on what tomorrow's weigh in is, we might, we might gauge, we might, we might up the calories. So, um, anyway, let's get in the gym. Okay, so there used to be a wall back there, um, but they knocked it down, they're doing some renovations, and on that wall, that's where the mirrors were. So right now, there's, there's no mirrors in this gym, which makes working out kind of, I mean, it's fine, but it, it's not nearly as fun as, you know, when you got the mirrors there to check yourself out the whole time. So, we've been dealing with this for about two weeks now, almost. Hopefully they come back soon. Okay, we're moving over to the Smith machine now so I can burn out better, but... I noticed something odd about this spit machine. There's a bunch of clips littered around it. If you're using clips for the spit machine, Okay guys, so um, I gotta be really quiet. For some reason, it's 2.30 in the morning right now. And I mean, I've just been awake. I've been doing stuff, like just, you know, watching movies and stuff. And I just got this sudden, I got a sudden burst of, of motivation to go for a run. I mean, I was planning on I was planning on running in the morning anyway, so I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I don't really, like, I know I'm not gonna want to run in the morning. Like, I was just, I just know myself. So I was like, fuck it. What if I just like run now, get it out of the way early? <laughs> so uh, let's go. No music. Also, I started running without music a few. Uh, few days ago because the thing about having the music is it, it like it distracts you and it, it, it just it gets to a point where it gets kind of annoying I felt and uh something about running without music you get put into like an absolute just trance and uh, it, it's there's no other feeling I've ever experienced other than maybe being on like some quarter of some some kind of hardcore narcotic which i don't have much experience with but it is something special so that's what we have been doing let's i'm gonna try to focus and get in that trance right now so come on this doesn't apply to me nah They think they're gonna stop me on my 3 a.m. running workout. Oh shit, sprinklers on? Sprinklers are on. We're gonna try not to run in this part of the track. But you are to try to track. Let's 
who else you know at 2 30 in the morning is gonna be like you know what i'm gonna go for a run i mean maybe david goggins yeah he, he actually it's exactly something he would do but in terms of white guys no way let's go done nothing crazy just like a little 5k enough to qualify as a run for me at least just went up a storm now hopefully i'll sleep really really well good night weighed in this morning at about uh 182.8 i think i think that was it which is actually under the weight that we started at which means i haven't gained any weight which in the case of a lean bulk um we are trying to get a try, gain a little bit of weight ideally so we're moving up baby we're jacking up the calories it's just just a little bit like 100 calories so we were at, we were at 2400 now we're moving up to 2500 we're actually at the grocery store right now i gotta go in there to get my pre-workout stimulant so then i can go to the gym okay Like this whole concept of people thinking it's so hard to either cut bulk, stuff like that, and either eating in a deficit, they think they're eating less than they are, or they think they're eating more than they actually are. Like I always have my friends, they'll be like, they'll come to me. They'll come to me and they'll be like, so Parker, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to gain some weight. Like, what do I got to do? And it always comes down to, okay, you have to eat more calories than you're burning, right? You have to just be in a caloric caloric surplus they're like bro bro i eat so much like i don't i just can't put on weight i say okay what'd you eat and he'll he'll kind of walk me through everything he ate for that day and you know just in my ballpark you know math brain i'll just throw a ballpark number out there i'll be like well based off everything you told me it sounds like you ate about 2400 calories and he'll be like, no, I, I mean, it was at least like <laughs> it. I mean, I'm exaggerating here, but it'd be like at least it was at least 4000, he'll say. And, and I'm like, no, it wasn't. Your body is not the exception to the laws of thermodynamics. I can promise you that <laughs> uh, you're just like everyone else. If you eat more than you're burning, you're going to gain weight. If you eat less than you're burning, you're going to lose weight. It's just based on consistency and over extended periods of time. So either you're not, you haven't been doing it for long enough, or you're not doing doing it consistently for long enough. Meaning every single day, you are to the gram, to the T, you are on point with your diet. And that's really what it all comes down to. It's not, oh, I lost a pound today so I can eat more today, tomorrow or something like that. It's every single day, regardless of what your morning weigh-in is, you just got to stick to it. And uh, if you're doing it right, it, it's gonna come it's gonna come with time so um i don't even i don't even know how i got to talking about that oh my morning weigh-in yeah i weighed in lower than when i started and i'm supposed to be bulking right now <laughs> yeah well that's that's just because i started my maintenance is about 2300 calories and since i'm only eating about 2400 calories a day I mean, that's obviously going to fluctuate each day. My maintenance is like some days I'm going to burn 2,700 calories. Other days I'm going to burn 1,800 calories, depending on what I do that day. And so 2,400 calories is not that high for, um, it's not that much of a surplus from where my kind of baseline is. The more, the more separation you get from your maintenance and your surplus or your deficit, the, obviously the more noticeable your changes in weight are going to be so um just being in a 100 calorie surplus for the last two weeks I shouldn't really expect that much of a difference but we're gonna bump it up um i've been talking for a long time i'm gonna go in the gym now i already finished this um it's pretty good red dragon never had this one before pretty good i enjoyed it
also something you have to keep me accountable for for the next few months is I've decided not to cut my hair, um, which shouldn't be that hard to do theoretically, but since I've been cutting my own hair for like the better part of a year, um, I just get super like OCD about it. So if, like I catch myself in the mirror, I'll be like, oh, I'll just snip that piece off. And the next thing I know, I've cut a hole in my head. So um, I'm really gonna try to hold off on that and just try to grow out the flow, so. But you gotta keep me accountable. So comment down below, stop cutting your hair right now. Everyone comment that, no hair cutting. It just blows my mind that people get so, they get so stuck in their mindset of like, oh, I'm not gonna do it until it's absolutely perfect, until it's the right time. Like there's never gonna be a right time. Just do it. If you wanna do something, do it. Because the reality is, at least in the case of making videos on YouTube, when you first start, your first video is gonna suck anyway. It's not gonna get any views. Nobody's gonna watch it. It doesn't even matter if it's bad. You just gotta, you just gotta start doing it. I returned home from this workout to find a fully made and prepared beautiful steak dinner just just waiting for me. It was it's kind of weird. Like my parents went to sleep, everything I, I don't I don't know. It was just there. But I wasn't complaining, tell you that much. It was mm -mm, mm. But since I didn't cook it myself, I had to dig into the trash to find the package for the meat so that I could track it accurately in my fitness pal. What's up? We're just gonna have a little bit of Greek yogurt with some Rice Krispies in it right there. Uh, just got back from the golf course. Snap, crack, and pop. Gonna see you at the gym later for a leg workout. Hello, <laughs> JK. I'm not going to the gym today. I was supposed to um, do my leg workout tonight, but I've decided to, to wait till tomorrow. So. Um, oops. Honestly surprised I even made it here today. I mean, I never work out in the morning, but this is the only time it would work out today for the schedule, so we're here. And uh, we're doing our best, but I guess just anything's better than nothing at this point. All right, boys, today's one of those days where you really don't want to go to the gym and you're thinking, oh, I'll just take a rest day. Like, I'll be okay. I'll just go tomorrow or something or you're procrastinating right now and you're dreading it. Guess what? I was dreading it too, coming in this morning. I mean, I, I hate working out in the morning. It's like the worst thing ever to me. But um, this is when I had to make it work today. So we're here and we got it done. And, I feel a whole lot better now. I feel productive. I feel accomplished. I'm ready to go do some stuff today that I don't really necessarily want to do, but uh, I'm going to do them. And I started the day off right, so I feel like I'm kind of set for the rest of the day, set the tone, if you will. People feel like, oh, I'm too busy. Well, if you really want, if you want to see the results, you, you will make time. So, simple as that. That's it for this one. Hope to see you in the next video. Uh, get your protein in. I don't know. <laughs>